two minutes late two minutes late and happy friday this is forex trading course 101 and remember we are in the beginner module and we are building the strategy and our system we are trying to learn how the risk management works and we are trying to learn how the psychology works right remember 90 percent of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide and the webinars are not trading or investment advice the webinars are for the educational purposes only hello miguel how are you remember don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose and for homeworks and or questions you have my gmail contact the skype contact and the linkedin contact that being said let's dive into the live charts hello silas how are you so the webinar today is trading japanese candlesticks bearish market structure but uptrend so let's try to find let's open a new one and let's try to find a bearish market structure nzd cad maybe nzd cad nzd cad one hour no daily nzd cad nzd cad no right uptrend nzd cad no uh euro jpy maybe let's try to find the right one euro jpy down structure okay we found one hopefully euro jpy let's go on the weekly chart let's try to find a bearish market structure so extension retracement not the right one weekly the daily maybe let's check the daily chart extensions retracement too difficult too difficult not the right one not the right one CHF JPY let's try CHF JPY CHF JPY weekly chart maybe maybe CHF JPY maybe CHF JPY let's try Canada Canada JPY in the meantime everybody do you have any questions about any currency pair any trade trading opportunity do you have any question any questions up structure down structure not the right one oh AUD JPY thank you AUD JPY let's see AUDJPY. Okay, yes, okay. AUDJPY. So bearish market structure but uptrend and we are going to talk about the candlestick formations that we learned so far, right? Bearish market structure meaning the market is making lower lows or highs. Relevant high, right? Relevant low. Relevant high and relevant low so this is the bearish market structure and in the extension we're going to see market making lower lows lower highs everything is okay great higher highs higher lows hello any lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs until here let's color code this in blue question did anybody make any pips this week so we are going to start trade we are going to start trade in the maybe next month let's see we need to build a strategy and then we are going to start trading okay and remember we are going to start demo trading demo account you need to prove three months of profits no losing months in between and then only then you can go slowly on the real account right not before okay yeah i'm all in <laughs> no you shouldn't be allowed everybody i'm not your father 
but it should, you shouldn't be allowed to trade with real money until you reach the goal remember the goal you need to prove a track record on the demo account minimum three months really ah yes really you need to prove minimum three months on the demo and you need to explain the why the when and the how like oh I will I made a profit okay now explain to me why did you make a profit how what is your strategy why did you enter here where was your stop loss where was your take profit or oh I lost on the trade no problem can you explain why did you lose why did you enter here where was your stop loss where was the take profit you know okay bearish market structure but uptrend question number one should you go short or should you go long everybody this is theory then we are going to check the chart AUD JPY chart so the black is the bearish market structure but we have an uptrend so should you go short or should you go long? Okay, and the one who are with me for quite a time, you know that the next question is correct the why. So if you're going to put in the chat, oh, let's go long, yes, sir, why? Or let's go short, yes, sir, why? Okay, why? Why long and where? would you put your stop loss okay okay now this is theory let's go into the live market we're going to move from the weekly to the daily chart and let's see if, if it's enough right not enough we're going to move from the daily to the two hour chart two hour chart let me see there you go two hour chart Euro J, uh, not Euro, sorry, AOD JPY <coughs> extension retracement extension. So we have the confirmation of the market wave. Let's color code this like this, right? So we have two relevant highs and lows. What else can we do? Well, we can draw a uptrend line which is going to be broken so far no problem it happens so like this and we can draw a downtrend line downtrend line like this okay so this is the two hour chart and Sila says Wait, is more safe? Great answer, any. Sila says long. Okay. What is this, everybody? Is this a bullish candlestick formation? Is this a bullish candlestick formation? What is this? Okay. So we have we have a bearish down structure, but we have an uptrend. And yes, you are correct, it's safer, but Silas is, uh, and Victor, they are risk takers. And they said, no, let's go long. Okay, why? Okay. I'm going to go long right now. Buy market. Units, not units, thousand slots. Submit. Okay. I'm in the market, Victor long where should the stop loss go i'm your student you are my teacher tell me let's move on the daily i'm going to move on the daily if you say to me move on the weekly to see i'm going to move on the weekly yes miguel correct both bullish okay so i entered a long trading here where should the stop loss go okay now i'm a beginner trader i'm going to write next to my trade i entered a long a long trade ok 
Okay, number one, uptrend short, right? Short uptrend number two. I am, I am, I am aware that market structure is down. Okay, as a beginner trader. I'm going to write things on my chart so if I'm going to lose no problem I'm going to ask you why did you lose well I lost because I went against the market structure why did not you draw the structure over the connection point with the uptrend line Any, I don't understand your question. Can you be more specific? Why did you not draw the structure over the connection point with the uptrend line? Oh, like here. Well, I, I don't know which one is lower. The, let me see. I was not sure which one is lower. Okay, where is the tool? Let me see what is the lowest. And I cannot see. This low is 71119 and this one is 7109. Okay, so thank you, Annie. I adjusted the structure. <clears throat> so I in and Victor 7250 70. Which one? Which one is the stop loss, Victor? So I'm in a trade. This is the stop loss and what is going to be seven zero 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 the stop loss. I would not go long. I would wait further retracement with the possibility on going short. Great answer, Miguel. Great answer. Okay. But there is no right or wrong. You can go short. You can go. Everybody, why are we teaching you this and doing these classes? Because many times when you are alone with your platform, you are going to have mixed signals, right? And you are going to wonder, well, should I go up? Should I go short? Should I go down? Okay, you need to understand this. There is no right or wrong. There is just high probability trade or less probability trade okay now the, what we entered okay it's friday right <laughs> happy friday now now comes the question it's friday the easiest lessons come come on friday what is this what is this Number one, is this a retracement, retrace, retracement trade on two hour chart? Is this a retracement trade on the daily chart? Is this an extension trade on the two hour? chart or is this a extension trade on the daily daily chart what else can I give you extension retracement okay or number five is this a retracement on the let me see, retracement trade on the two hour market wave, okay, or is this a retracement on the two hour chart on the, on the short term trend. There you go, happy Friday everybody. Now, what is this? We entered the long trading here. So what is what is this? 
So the market is moving up, right? It's making, I don't know, higher, higher highs, higher lows on a smaller scale. Now, what is this? Is this a retracement trade on the two hour market wave? Is this a retracement trade on the daily? Is this an extension trade on the two hour chart? Is this an extension trade on the daily chart? Or number five, is this a retracement trade on the two hour chart on the short term trend? What is this? You can say one, two, three, four, five. You can say, I don't know, a retracement, a retracement. Yeah, what is the difference, everybody? The difference, each and every one of these numbers is going to give you a different stop loss and a different take profit. Okay? This is why you need to understand when you are entering the market. Of course, I'm joking with you, some of them are... Some of them has nothing to do, right? What is this? So what is this? A retracement trade? A retracement trade on the short term trend? The market is too close to the trend line and if it goes through, then might consider long, but if it rebounds, then go short. This is a retracement rate on the two hour market wave. Okay, great answer, Miguel. Anybody else? Any Sila, Silas, Victor, Max, Eddington, Ilmat? Anybody else? What is this? Is a retracement rate on the two hour market wave? Miguel is saying yes, this is a retracement rate on the two hour market wave. What do you think, anybody? Okay, now, the, number one, this is not a retracement rate on the two hour market wave. Why not? Why not? Because the retracement, remember, extension in here, let's core code this like this. Okay, so we have the first extension in here. Let's call the code like this. We have the second leg, a retracement in here, color code in this one. No, it's not. This is not a retracement rate. If this would be a retracement rate on the market wave, on the chart chart, then we wouldn't go short. Okay, so retracement, extension, extension, retracement, extension, right? Now, a retracement in here, okay? So what is this? We are going long in here. What is this? If it's not number one, hello Eddington, Silas retracement, no. Eddington is right, it's extension. Extension, everybody. It's an extension. Extension, yellow line, retracement, pink line or violet. Extension, blue line. Retracement, the red line. Right? How do you know? What do you think? How do you know that we are in an extension? This is our extension trade. Yes, it's high risk. Yes, it's speculative in nature. Okay, because we have a down structure. We have bearish market structure. Right? How do you know that this is the starting point so far? Starting point of, of the extension right this is one it's a uh, okay the first movement of a new uptrend number three extension trade on the two hour chart 
okay there is one more everybody one more it's difficult to spot okay and the reason there is one more and it's number five okay so this is what this could be you have two options why is that because the market is below the downtrend line structure the market wave is up yes sir but we are still below the downtrend line so this is an extension trade on the two hour chart i should i should have uh, written market wave right okay so this is but there is one more the last candle make a newer high yes but there is one more it we also have a number five this could be a retracement on the two hour chart on the short term trend so let's try to find the short term trend the short term trend starts up in here right so let's see the short term trend high to low low to high high to low low to high high to low low to high high to low okay let me see higher highs higher lows lower lows lower highs <clears throat> high to low low to high okay now could this be number five a retracement trade on the two hour chart what what does this mean this means that the market can still fall and makes a new low because we are so far right we are in a downtrend are we in a downtrend everybody or aren't we in a downtrend so this is an extension trade yes is this number five a retracement trade on the two hour chart on the short term trend right passion but we are in an uptrend no we are not we are not we are not in an uptrend not yet okay we are not in an uptrend not yet remember not all highs and lows are relevant okay remember those are one of the first lessons what is a trend line a trend line is a tool that is going to confirm you the trend so if you are telling here oh we are in an uptrend no we are not in an uptrend we are not in an uptrend here you have a down structure you need to see relevant highs and lows and these higher highs higher lows we are not in an uptrend not yet downtrend counter trend and break short short teacher wait oh victor now you want me to go short we just entered a long trade you show us another picture which one which one right so this is the number five of course it's speculative in nature it's it's difficult to spot right but you need to understand that you can go short you can go long okay you show us another picture this one and remember everybody these candlestick formations and this bearish market structure but up uptrend happens all the time on all currency pairs and all yes and all time frames this could be the 15 minute chart could be the daily chart right what are you going to do if this is the two hour chart and but on the daily chart right you have like this on the daily chart one more right what are you going to do right now and you are looking at exactly the same 
yeah not the perfect one I should have drawn differently but still okay okay there you go so what you are looking on the daily right on the chore chart you have a down structure with an uptrend and on the daily you have an up structure right the market is making lower lows lower highs and then on the smaller scale is making higher highs higher lows what are you going to do you show that you draw something different not the another the first one but you also said first I don't remember Victor I'm sorry I don't remember what picture this is the lesson I'm sorry Victor I don't remember what picture are you searching for we should read what we see yes yes absolutely right <laughs> what do you see you are absolutely correct what do you see do you see a retracement trade on the two market two hour market wave do you see a retracement trade on the daily? Do you see an extension trade on the two hour chart, on the two hour market wave? Or do you see a retracement trade on the two hour chart on the short term trend? What do you see? The higher time frame commands the lower time frame. Yes, sir. So, what are you going to do, Miguel? What are you going to do? Because Victor is telling you trade what you see. Should you go short or should you go long? What should you do? Right? I'm going to give you another one. What if this market is locked? We have a number six inside the sideways channel. It's going to change completely your take profit and stop loss. Right? What if the market is locked inside this sideways channel yeah the, the higher time frame controls the smaller time frame right what are you going to do you can say oh i would buy because the the daily is in an up structure but if you're going to buy i'm going to tell you well but you have lower lows lower highs on the daily you don't have the higher highs higher lows and this uptrend may be just the next retracement of a further leg like this okay you need to know and understand this everybody because it's going to change where you put your stop loss and take profit okay we go ahead only with what we see we are missing the information from the confirmation time frame this is the example Miguel up in here this is the example but I agree with you <laughs> somebody just wrote you are not going to sit on YouTube I have another streaming platform somebody just wrote if this is the <laughs> If this is the beginner module I cannot Im imagine what is the what is the next module yeah I know it's a, it's a lot of information okay no problem <laughs> yes no not a problem oh this is not this is not for beginners this is beginner stuff those are the basics no they're not <laughs> believe me those are the basics you need to understand the how and the, and the where and the why you know okay so answer everybody there is no the agreed there is no right or wrong there is no right or wrong you can go long you can go short or you can go sideways you can trade in three different manners you can have a bearish market structure in an uptrend you can have a bullish up structure and a downtrend and you can have bullish or bearish structure with the sideways movement there is no right or wrong just be aware that you are going to change the stop loss okay so 
I'm going to delete the one, two, three, four, five to have more text, more space. Okay. Now, Victor, your stop loss is okay, but you can have uh, another stop loss up in here. Okay. Your stop loss is okay. Nothing wrong, but you can have this other stop loss also, because here is where the structure on the two hour is going to reverse because it's yellow extension pink retracement blue extension and if the market breaks the blue extension then you have a reversal in the trend structure okay so your stop loss it's perfect nothing wrong but this is the another stop loss of course from the higher scale from the higher time frame your stop loss level victor is better than mine but for the purpose of the two hour chart this is also okay okay victor okay i have a 20 seconds delay on the chart now if we are locked inside the sideways movement in here we shouldn't go long number one right we should short the market so i'm going to short the market sell the market short i have another trade short where should the stop loss go this is the easy one right if i'm trading this sideways channel if I'm buying and selling, I just entered short. Where should I put my stop loss? Yes, correct. 15 pips or 150 pipettes above the high, right? So where is the high? I'm going to do it transparency. Transparency like in here. So this is the high. Where is the high? There is the high. I'm going to use the tool. What is the high? At 73.319. Right? So plus 50 is going to be 7346. 7346. Okay, there you go. This is your stop loss level. If you are going to the side and these webinars are not trading and or investment advice. You need to know what you are doing, okay? But if you are going to short the market, right? As I did right now. Question: Did I do anything wrong shorting the market right now? Who knows? Did I do anything wrong shorting the market right now? Everybody. Victor, be careful with pips and pipettes. Okay, 7336, it's the wrong stop loss. Okay, if you have 543 decimal points, then you are looking at pipettes. Eddington, am I correct? We had a conversation some time ago. Am I correct, Eddington, or am I wrong? pipettes and pips in the meantime everybody what did i do anything wrong shorting the market right now did i do anything wrong you can say yes you can say no wait for a bearish kind of yes great any now everybody if this candle is going to close bearish uh, and if the market is going to went down like it's doing right now was this luck or I am a professional top trader right what is this I look at this I just enter short and the market is falling am I lucky or I know what I'm doing Pipette is a 10, yes. But which one is the correct stop loss? Is the victor 7336 or it's 746?
Okay, Victor, I think if Eddington says that I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I think that correct is 7346. Because the mag <laughs> magician. <laughs> Everybody, this is luck. I just got lucky. If this mark is going to fall and hit my take profit down here, it's not closed yet. Any. You were correct. I should wait for the market to close the candle. So I enter in here now and the market is falling. <laughs> As Miguel said, you are a magician. Uh, look like, looks like today I am, right? But this is luck, everybody. I cannot trade like this. I entered prematurely when this market was up. It was a bullish candle and I short the market. I entered prematurely this was wrong okay you need to wait for the close of the candle and some of you are writing and thinking well but if you wait for the close of the candle you are going to lose all, all the profits well this is just an example how the market moves and works right maybe I'm going to lose all the profit in here because I'm out of the market but look at the uptrend you waited for this in here I'm going to put an arrow you wait for this in here bullish candlestick formation closed you need to wait for a close closed bullish candlestick formation and the market went slowly up until to the upper band right you shouldn't enter just because the candle is moving up or down you should wait for a closed candle okay anyway those are the stop loss right and on the for the buy trade clone for the buy trade this stop loss should go let me see what is the number so the low is 72.47 so it should be 72.37, 7.37, somewhere in here. Okay. Why is that? Because sometimes the market is going to go down, right? Make maybe a lower low for a pip and then reverse and go up. And you have the proof in here, everybody. This most recent high. If you take the high, the wick of the candle of this one, it's a few pips higher than the previous high. This is why you need to adjust your stop loss levels according. Okay, so this is the sideways movement, right? And the market is moving like this, maybe, and then it's moving like this. Okay, so you have your stop loss level. This is the this is the sideways channel this is the sideways channel in here right and so your stop loss level should go above somewhere in here let's make a different color clone so sideways channel is one stop loss is in here right because you are measuring the highs and the lows but as soon as possible the market makes a new lower low for about I don't know 10 pips 50, 50 pips whatever and start to reverse then your reference for the stop loss is not this one anymore it's not the quadrant but it's the circle it's a few pips lower and this means that you need to adjust your stop at a new level because sometimes the market does this and it's going to go up and up and up and maybe it's going to break the most recent high in here and makes a new high maybe higher just five pips and start to reverse and go on the other side you need to adjust your stop you have a new reference right euro gbp euro gbp the perfect example euro gbp daily chart let me see daily chart okay look in here what happened 
we're going to take this sideways movement maybe and this sideways movement let's color code it first the line first the line there you go so as you can see this high and the last high are different so the second high went through the first high can you see this everybody you need to adjust the stop loss if you're going to trade the sideways movement the most recent high uh, I didn't say correctly not the most recent high but the highest high or the lowest low when you are trading the sideways channel are the reference you need to adjust your stop loss okay like in here even better example in here even better even better so first where should I put it somewhere in here reverse okay first first this was the market right low to high high to low okay now this first low was the reference right now if you didn't adjust if you didn't adjust your stop loss look what happened with the second low right and then the third low was a little bit higher no problem but the fourth low if you if you would not adjust your stop right okay then the market of course broke out of the channel right it went from a bigger channel right to a smaller channel something like this okay but you need to adjust you need to monitor the market if you're going to play around with the sideways movement sideways channel you need to monitor the market and adjust your stops accordingly okay so we address the long short we address the sideways movement I'm going to delete a few things delete 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 who in here wants to short the market should we short the market we are here everybody should we short the market long is okay should we short the market this is the daily chart right this is the bearish structure but we have an uptrend the market is making higher highs higher lows should we short the market Okay, we are going to go back on the daily <coughs> daily this is the daily chart delete 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 let's delete a few things delete for you I'm going to open a new one AUDJPY should we short the market AUDJPY why well we have a downtrend line we learned about the down trend lines we learned about the trend lines that every chart could have minimum three right the long term the medium term right the aggressive one if you want there you go now all most of you are saying well let's trade what you see okay what do you see do you see an uptrend, an up structure, or do you see a downtrend, an up down structure? Right now, on the bigger scale, this is extension, then is retracement, and then is extension again. This is on the bigger, bigger scale, right? Now this is easy. I do not go short okay why not why not if the answer is trade what you see 
now this is the smaller structure extension retracement extension extension until here I need to correct this one on the small scale extension retracement extension retracement extension retracement extension I'm not sure if this is a lower low let's check yes it is okay a lower low so this is on the smaller scale trade what you see okay but what do you see do you see the market in a down structure or do you see a market in an up structure do you see the market making relevant higher highs higher lows or do you see the market making relevant lower lows and lower highs what do you think AUDJPY who in here want to go short the market just broke the counter trend line look at this who in here wants to go short now I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do then oh yes everybody's going there is no right or wrong any doesn't want to go short why not any why not you go on the weekly chart resistance in the pass you go on the weekly chart this is the weekly chart those are the bands on the monthly so the long-term bias the long-term direction is down right market structure extension retracement extension retracement so far is down trade what you see the market is making lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows right so and oh I don't want to go short no problem there is no right or wrong as we are saying okay but I'm telling you everybody this market long term right and then he says oh we have resistance in the past right so what does any any sees this one maybe any do you see this the market reacted here the market reacted here right the market reacted here the market reacted here right and you are thinking that well maybe the market is going to react also here but there is not formation what kind of formation what kind of formation now everybody is this a bearish candlestick formation is this a bearish candlestick formation and did this bearish candlestick formation on the weekly chart appear at past resistance in here did this bearish candlestick formation appeared at past resistance in my charts I have this pair on top of a support from the monthly time frame yes yes okay now all of you are right so it's time to trade right you want you want to make some pips correct you want to make some pips and money so if the market is making lower lows and lower highs and you have a bearish candlestick formation on the weekly which is the higher time frame and this bearish candlestick formation appeared at past resistance on the weekly and you have a counter trend line break on the daily what's the problem what's the problem I'm telling you who is shorting the market I am I am shorting AUDJPY okay I'm not no I, no I'm not saying that you should short remember these webinars are not trading advice or investing I'm here for you to learn I want you to learn right and I want you to learn to think in probabilities 
right? The market hit past resistance, made a bit. Okay, let's be fair. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to win. Maybe I'm going to lose. But technically speaking, my short term trade has quite enough probability of success. And all of you are correct. You are saying, hey, passion, wait a second, but you have a pivot point or a resistance, man. Yes, that's true, but it doesn't make any difference because if I'm going to trade what I see, I'm seeing a down structure with a downtrend with the bearish candlestick formation at past support. I have even a counter trend line break on the daily at past support with bull with bearish candlestick formation. So technically speaking, my short my short rate should be okay. Even though even I have a small uptrend on a smaller scale, right? But my trade should be okay. Okay, everybody, let's go relax. It's Friday. I hope you learned something today. See you back on Monday. Okay, I'm not going to say stay strong and trade with passion because it's weekend. I'm going to say stay strong and relax with passion. <laughs> okay, everybody, see you back on Monday. Stay safe. Let's go relax. And this is FX Passion signing off.